I'm John Cryer, and you're watching Comedy Matters. The producer of this yeah. whole event. What? This is amazing. It is. I think what, I'm what a night a sauna. for you. What, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what a night for it's a hot, Price. It's a hot event, literally and figuratively, right? Lonnie Price. It's his evening. Why is that? Why because is it Lonnie? I only helped get it memorialized. Lonnie's imagination and creativity and genius put it on the stage. Raised money. He did everything. A producer should do. So well, that sounds like the kind of partner you want to have. He is the best. At the NYIT screening room with Stuart Lane, Broadway producer, and uh, he's actually producing with Ellen Kress, is that correct? With Ellen Kress and my wife Bonnie. Bonnie and Conley. his wife Bonnie. How are you, Bonnie? Good. And uh, two fellow friars, as a matter of fact. Yeah. The last time I saw you was at the club and we were discussing this exciting event tonight. How did this come about, Stuart? Well, I've worked on several projects with Ellen Crass before. I did Cyrano de Bergerac for great performances. I actually did company uh, for great performances as well, the one that uh, had uh, with Rala Sparza. So, so we actually have done a couple of shows uh, with her. Uh, and when the opportunity came up to do this with the New York Philharmonic and Neil Patrick Harris and working with Lonnie again, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite Sondheim musicals. I said, you can't turn it down. It's just too, too exciting. Something that should be seen. A uh, you know, great cast. Uh, it's wonderful yeah. to see the, these, these, these performers that we know and that is well Holmes on television actually playing different characters. Uh, very exciting. The cast is amazing. I mean, did you have anything to do with the casting as well? Uh, I voted yes. You voted yes? <laughs> so who actually cast? Who got all these fabulous uh, that, people? That was really done through Lonnie uh, and, uh, for producing it. Well, you've had great success on Broadway so far. What are some of the uh, award-winning shows that you've produced? Well, I've, I've, got, uh, I've got four Tony Awards so far. Uh, I say so far. I'm counting, right, so exactly. Uh, I've, I've got, I did the Casual Fold, the original. I did uh, Will Rogers' Follies. I did uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie. And I did Jay Johnson, The Two and Only. Uh, now, this season, uh, it's been a really busy season, but uh, we did uh, Al Pacino's Merchant of Venice. Very excited about that. Wonderful performance. Danny Sullivan did a great job directing. Great supporting cast. What can you say about that? We are War Horse. We're producing War Horse at Lincoln Center. Uh, and that, that an amazing theatrical event. Not since Nicholas Nickleby have I seen a show that's so theatrically exciting and really tugs at your heartstrings. And then, of course, my party show, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, uh -huh. that's playing at the Palace Theater. Right. Uh, that's up for a Tony now, right? Uh, we're up for best, uh, best Actor and Best Costumes. And we get to do a number of the Tony Awards. We'll have two and a half minutes of pure, pure excitement. On the wow. Tony. And that, that's this coming Sunday, isn't it? That's this Sunday, uh, this June Sunday. 12th. June 12th. Where is it going to be held? Uh, it's going to be at the Beacon Theater up on Broadway. And then there'll be a nice party at the Plaza. Hopefully, I'll be there celebrating. Great. I hope so, too. Well, it was wonderful to see you. Good to and see I, you. Wish you, I wish you both luck. Bonnie, you wish you luck. It was great to see you. I'm here with John Cryer on, at uh, the screening, at the NYIT screening for company. How did this come about for you, John? How did you wind up getting involved? Uh, I got a phone call from my agent saying, they're doing a benefit for the Philharmonic. Should be fun. I said, okay, sure. Uh, uh, I've never sung professionally, but why not? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I find out, oh, no, no, it's not just a benefit. It's not just a concert staging where you show up and you have the scripts in hand and you, you know, it's fun and who cares if you mess up. It's a fully staged production with Neil Patrick Harris and Patti LuPone and Stephen Colbert. He said, excuse me? <laughs> um, so uh, uh, it ended up being this amazing, magical thing that, that took on a life of its own. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, we all sort of feel like, you know, we don't want the ride to end. I mean, that's why we're doing the Tonys, is because, you know, who wants this to get over with, you know? Stuart Lane told me that you're actually made, doing a performance on Sunday, right? Yeah, Tonys. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. We're very, 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 very excited. excited about it, and it's fun to sort of put on our straw hats again and, uh, you know, 
go go back in time a little bit. And uh, it, we just did it this afternoon. It was awesome. So. Now, you're a really funny guy. Have you ever done stand-up comedy? I have never done stand-up, never will. <laughs> it, that is the most frightening. The only thing more frightening than musical theater is stand-up. <laughs> yes. I know. I, I'm a, I perform, and I know. And yes, I've been know. a comedy writer for many years, and I know it's the hardest thing. So. Every, every performer says that, that yeah. it's the hardest it's thing. True. Don't want to do it. I won't work that out. It's not going to happen. Not gonna